Usually on the podcast, one of the questions that gets asked is like, you know, tell us about like the diagnosis and stuff. But obviously, but for me, because my sister's older than I am, mm-hmm. I wasn't even alive when she got diagnosed with rat, right? Um, and, mm-hmm. so, and it certainly wouldn't have been a thing I remember. I don't know how different that is for you. So what I wanted to ask you was a similar thing of when did you first realize that Eliza was not the same as everybody else? Um uh-huh. And when did you first hear about Rett syndrome? Like, when did that become a concept you were aware of? Um, well, we're, we're, we're like, um, I'm 20 months older than her. So we're quite close in age. Um, but so I didn't really hear the term Rett syndrome until I was probably around six because I n- never really, like, I, I realized that she was different, but I never really thought much of it when I was younger because she was diagnosed when she was three years old. Um, so, and I never really thought, um, like, I didn't really think about it but then um I, well, as I got older I realized that she was um a bit dif- a bit different and she was in a wheelchair and she was and she was um she was getting physio um to walk um at that um at that time and I was I was there and I was like trying to help out and I, I was asking questions like why is she learning how to watch how I walk how come I can walk and she can't and then I started to realize that she couldn't do these things and then it and, and then it hit me that she and um, that she had Rett syndrome because they had told me but I hadn't understood about it yeah no I I get that I've had the I had I had a very similar thing um yeah my one of my older memories is my um it and I get told this story a lot as well is that one time my mum was getting my sister like dressed for school mm-hmm. or whatever and I was like trying to put my shoes on and no one kids are like you know like young kids mm-hmm. I was like demanding that she come help me instead and mm-hmm. I was like I gotta help Amber and I was like and I and she my mom always describes it that my face like properly scrunched up and I went like why is she so so wobbly and my mom looked at me and was like because some people are and and that that was sort of my first experience of like noticing a, a real substantial difference I think um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah I, I don't I don't really remember much I just I just remember her um I I all I remember is her um like just I like sometimes she grabs um and uh, I and uh, went because I was because I was younger I I it like I was I would I would be like oh let's so no, that um, that hurts and stuff like that, and uh, I would get angry because I didn't I didn't know, and then my parents would have to tell me that was because it's just her way of saying hello and I love you and stuff like that. Yeah, I get you. You can't get a, those um those grabs hurt. Yeah, it really hurt. Um, she, bit, she bit me on the arm once, like really hard. <laughs>